This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Proving that the Justice Department can act with haste when they want to in an expeditious manner. George Santos. Let's go, Mads. Let's go, Mads. <laughs> Uh, is looking like he's facing some consequences. And I've got the 30-page indictment here, and I'm going to go through some of these charges. It is remarkable. Look, this is a good day because it is accountability that uh, we're not going to let ne'er-do-wells and scammers and grifters and charlatans and liars hold some of the highest positions within our government. It's good. But it also is an indictment of the Justice Department that here we are more than two years away from the insurrection on January 6, 2021, and Donald Trump and the highest level um, uh, purveyors of that event are still consequence free. There's an investigation, but this proves that things can be done quickly. Justice can be swift. Here are some of the counts against Uh, George Santos. Counts one through five. 13 felony counts here. Counts one through five. Wire fraud, fraudulent political contribution solicitation scheme. And they have here, I'll put it on screen. You can pause. Uh, These these are the descriptions, uh, a brief description of what is outlined more substantially within this indictment, which by the way, will be at the bottom of the description. You can click and read the entire thing. That's count one through five. Count six through eight, unlawful monetary transactions over $10,000. And again, they give a, a brief summation of what is more full, in a more fulsome manner outlined within the indictment. Uh, this is, it is remarkable that this individual believed he was going to get away with such clear violations of law and fraud and scheming. It, it, it is... It def- it, here's what I think that, that might be at play here is when you have a new class of politician raising up and paying attention to politics for the very first time and Donald Trump is their North Star and Donald Trump is their guidebook, they're going to believe that it's just easy. That all you have to do is just do it and lean into it really confidently and you'll get away with it. Seems happily not to be the case for George Santos. Count nine, theft of public money. They go on to explain it. Counts 10 and 11, wire fraud, fraudulent application for and receipt of unemployment benefits. Now, what's interesting about that is there is a bill working its way through the house right now to do a fulsome audit and hold people accountable who stole from the COVID-related benefits uh, related to, to unemployment. And now, uh, or and I guess the, the, I'm burying the lead here, he's a co-sponsor of this bill, George Santos. And now he's going to be prosecuted for the alleged involvement in defrauding the United States government out of, or look at the, the, the amount here, drop my pen, out of $25,000. That is... Crazy, crazy. Count 12, false statements on his 2020 House disclosure reports. Count 13, false statements on his 2022 House uh, disclosure reports. So it is lies, fraud, scheming, and general felonious activity on the part of George Santos that finally he's going to... um, be held accountable for. So look, uh, other than the fact that this is kind of the the way of the world for Republicans now, and you've got Kevin McCarthy, who's like, well, he's just going to have to stay until they they convict him because I'm too much of a feckless, uh, a, a fearful coward to do anything about it. When this represents who they are now. I mean, this, this is just it. 
You got Donald Trump, who has many, 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 many cases against him right now. Investigations. He's already been found uh, liable in a sexual assault case, ordered to pay $5 million. And you've got George Santos and others who are embroiled in financial scandals up to and including Marjorie Taylor Greene. And we have a Speaker of the House who will not do anything about it. And in fact, here was his statement. Look at him not knowing what to do, what to say, how to act, because he's only got a five-seat majority, and uh, there's so many rebels in the House caucus, the, the, the Lauren Boberts and the Matt Gateses and the Chip, Chip Roy, these types that are making it very difficult for, for Kevin McCarthy to get things done. Here is his all-over-the-place frantic statement when asked about this. Watch this. No. Yes. Uh, are you going to continue to stand by George Santos now that he's been indicted on federal charges? And we stand by President Trump if after a, federal, a jury found him liable on sexual abuse. No, I'm not going to avoid your question, but as you know, I've been at the White House. I haven't seen that. I, I haven't seen the indictment. But as you know, with George Santos, I did not put him on any committees. Um, for those like Senator. Menendez, who was indicted and went to trial, he was still able to vote, and others. He, I believe he's the chairman of the committee today. Uh, in America, we'll, we'll just follow the same pattern we always have, right? If a person is indicted, they're not on committees, they have the right to vote, but they have to go to trial. If, um, just like we had a member of Fortenberry, he had the same ability, I removed him from committees, but he was found guilty, and I told him he needed to resign. I, I, that is my policies. And, principles on this and I'd follow the same path. And Trump being found yes. I, I don't. I've been in meetings. I don't know. Why not? That's the Speaker of the House of Representatives of these United States. An absolute failure of a human being and, and well, just specifically popular uh, politician, but generally a failure. Coward. Afraid to hold anyone accountable because of the slim majority. They don't have a mandate from the people. Even with the gerrymandered districts all across the country in red states, he still is what he is. Anyway, what do you think? Um, are, you, are you pleased we're here? Should the Justice Department uh, pick up the pace relative to to prosecuting the, 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 the cases against the leaders of the insurrection? I think the answer is self-evident. Uh, you can leave a comment. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me, daily at dollamore.com. You can uh, follow me on social media. I would encourage that. It is oftentimes uh, not as terrible as other times, as vague as that is. <laughs> Uh, and if you want to support my work, help produce what I do here, click the join button below. Become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, or you can go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast and become a patron. Join the Patreon family. I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Good days, good news, good things are happening. We'll see. Uh, be genuine. Take care of one another.